use this, Mr. Walton? This, Comet, is our new project, Arcadia. It looks like a city from outer space. <laughs> Not quite. Arcadia is indeed a city, but it would be built right here in America. Golly! Picture a city of dreams and hopes for the young and old alike, where technology and science go hand in hand with fun and entertainment. Gee, that sounds like a dream, Mr. Walton. Because it is a dream, Comet. And remember, to reach our dreams, we need to soar higher than ever before. Are you ready to proceed then? Uh, yes. Yes, I'm ready. Good. We're recording now. So, please, sir, state your name, age, and occupation. Trevor Hills, 28, senior account manager at INAC, although I'm not sure about that anymore. I'm also the most popular person in Arcadia, but you probably already know that, right? Subject 1392, you are entering a restricted area. Stop running and surrender now. Subject 10392, turn yourself in or be neutralized. Yeah? You have to catch me first, you jerk! <laughs> Yes, we know that, Mr. Hills. Please continue. Uh, I used to have a mundane life. Just my everyday routine, and I, I liked it that way. But I think it all probably began about two weeks before that dreadful day. Good morning, Arcadia. Today we're enjoying a splendid temperature of 77.1 degrees and a humidity of 53% on this beautiful morning, sunny Friday Arcadia. morning. Good morning, Arcadia. Morning, Kovacs. What do you say? Up for another exquisite cabbage breakfast? Had a boy. Auto droid to full cleaning. I was pretty good at Spectrex when I was a kid, but I'm not into video games anymore. Eh, it's not a Steinway, but. It fits in my comfy hobbit hole. Good morning, Mr. Bernstein. Good morning, Trevor. And on, over here on your right, you can see the Walton Family Memorial. It's a massive sculpture carved in stone of Elijah Walton, uh, his brother Donald, and Vivian Walton, Elijah's granddaughter and the current Arcadia representative. Next stop, INAC Gemini Tower West. Trevor Hills, welcome to INAC's Gemini Towers. You've been working with us for nine years, ten months, and fourteen days. Thank you for your dedication. Still trying to beat my Spectrex high score, Mitch? It's just a matter of time, Trevor. Just a matter of time. Huh. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Hello. Hey, Trevor, are you up for the Blitz Festival party tonight? It's in the Limelight Club. Sorry, no can do. I'm, I'm behind schedule. And I'm not much into clubbing either. Think you can have fun by yourselves without the life and soul of the party? Ha! We'll try our best, ma'am. Ada, the automated data analyzer, is the most powerful computer ever built. 
INAC technology inside. Trevor, my man! Hi, Gus. You look good, buddy. Been going to the gym? Nah, I don't need a gym to keep this ripped body in shape. Hills jeans! By the way, you going to the Blitz party tonight? Nope, I still have some stuff to finish here. Trevor, man, would it kill you to have a little bit of fun once in a while? Sending to Ada. I do have fun, moderately. I enjoy doing my job. Validated. You won't be enjoying it so much now that Romano is our new supervisor. Sending to Ada. What? Will Romano? Seriously? But that guy is a moron. Um, uh, validated. You know, Gus, sometimes I get the feeling that only absolute jerks, egomaniacs, and obnoxious people thrive in this company. I didn't know you were interested in the supervisor's job. I'm sending it to Ada. Validated. And, I, and I'm not. But William Romano, man, you gotta be kidding me. Have you ever wanted to leave all your worries behind and have the time of your life while exploring the world and making unforgettable memories? Now, thanks to the Arcadia Edge Travel Grant, you can experience what you've only dared to dream of. Because not everyone who wanders is lost. The Edge Travel Grant, only in Arcadia. Apply now through Ordinary Mail or Adenet. Uh, Mr. Hills, you haven't really told us anything out of the ordinary so far. Do you really need to go through... I, I know what I've told you might seem irrelevant now, but it'll help you understand later. Trust me. Good morning, Arcadia. <sighs> it's another beautiful day in the city of tomorrow. We're expecting a high of 75 degrees and humidity of 66%. Good to see you, Mr. Bernstein. Good morning, Trevor. Oh, I hope you are up for a pleasant stroll along Memory Lake. So keep those cameras ready, because you might get some really, really nice pics of the Arcadia Spire up there. Next stop, INAC Gemini Tower West. Hmm. I wonder where this guy went. Hey, Millie, have you seen Gus today? Is he sick or...? I don't think so. He just left early today. Really? He didn't say anything to me. We're gonna fall behind schedule. Man, I'll be working overtime to send all these Ada memos by myself. <laughs> Thank you, Gus. Jesus, this is gonna take me forever to finish. I should have been home three hours ago, and I still have a ton of work to do. Hey, hey, I'm still working here. My fellow citizens, we have a new Edge Travel Grant winner. His name is... Hey, isn't that Gus? Augustus Rainey, a 31-year-old senior account manager at INAC. Soon, Gus will be enjoying Fiji's pristine beaches and crystal clear waters. I hope he packed an Aloha shirt and a pair of sunglasses. Hmm, that's weird. Gus was never interested in any of this. So, I barely got to meet him, you know. They promoted me to a supervisor uh, two days later. Gus the Globetrotter left us. <laughs> Romano, I really doubt that Gus ever applied for the travel grade. Ah, uh, you know, Gus, not much of a talker. What a lucky son of a gun, though, huh? Huh? <laughs> Fiji. Ooh, a kill for a beach trip right about now. Anyway, uh, make sure that reporter's ready for tomorrow, will you? 
be ready, Romano. Don't worry about it. to Inax Gemini Towers. Hey, hey! Did anybody hear that? It's that song again. Nobody? Really? <laughs> hey, Francis. Morning, Trevor. Listen, Dave. Have you noticed some weird things going on lately in the office? Weird? How? Oh. What do you mean? I don't know. Lights going off, music suddenly playing in the PA system? No, nothing. Okay, well, yeah, forget it. There must be a rational explanation for all this. There must be. This can't all be a product of my imagination, can it? Hey, Trevor, you up for a couple no, of beers no, after... No, 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 I... Sorry, I, I can't. I can't. Well, it's gotten into him. Leave me alone, damn it. What? Jesus. What the... Who is doing this? Who on earth is doing this? Would somebody please look at these screens? Damn. And maybe it's only stress. I've been working too much lately. I need to go to the doctor. It's It's been ages since I had a checkup. No, I'm not in the mood to play right now. I don't even want to get close to the TV. Not after last time. No thank you. Who knows what might happen if I turn that droid on? Hey Kovacs? Am I going crazy, buddy? Ugh. I don't think I'm gonna sleep a wink tonight. Those were probably the worst two weeks in my entire life. Or at least, the weirdest. Although it was nothing compared to what I was going to experience later that day. Do you know they even had a name for it? You mean a name for your... Yes, that's it. The day the running started. Okay, I, uh, I have to get a hold of myself. It's Friday. Just a few more hours of work and the week will be over. I'll finish here, go back home, have a Remember glass of warm milk, and apply for the Edge Travel Grant too. The only requirements are that you must be of legal age and have an insatiable wanderlust. Request the application form via ordinary mail or Adenet. No, thank you. Okay, today's tasks. Nothing like some routine stuff to keep your mind occupied. Oh, come on! I didn't even save. Hey guys, did you lose your... What? Gus is... dead. Trevor Hills, please. Your supervisor requires your presence in the meeting room on the 10th floor. Now what?
What on earth? Listen carefully, I don't have much time. As soon as you enter that meeting room, your supervisor is going to congratulate you for winning the EDGE travel grant. What? what who, who is this? Just listen. Three travel agents will be there with you to arrange all the paperwork. If you leave with them, you won't ever be seen again. What? What? Wait a second. I, I didn't even apply for the travel grant. Neither did Gus. Follow my instructions when you exit the elevator. It's your only chance to survive. What, what? Wait! What on earth was that? Here, on the intercom. Look at them. Do those guys look like travel agents to you? Take the elevator at the end of the hallway and go straight to the 20th floor. Whatever happens, do not stop until you get there. Oh, hey, hey, Trevor, come here! Where are you going, Mr. I Bills? have good news for oh, you. No, 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 no. They've seen me. And with this measure, we will. Hey, you can't be here, Mr. This is a private meeting. I'm sorry. I, I'm. I just. I have, I have to. I just. Don't mind me. Bye. Sorry, couldn't hold it. Take the stairs! Okay, now what do I do? When you reach the 20th floor, cross the Ada room lobby and enter the supercomputer room. The supercomputer room? I don't have clearance to access the- Don't worry, I'll take care of that. Damn it, there's no exit here. Hey! You, strange voice or whatever you are, can you hear me? What do I do now? Wait in there. I have to do something really quick. What? Calm down. Don't no panic. I'll be right back. Oh, I'm so sorry to leave you hanging there, Trevor. But admin permissions are updated daily, so I have to do this right here and right now. Great. All checked. Next phase of the plan. There she is. Kendra Tomlin, my inept boss. She's probably been logged into her computer all day, lurking through her assigned citizen grid, enjoying a quiet day with no incidents. Well, that's about to change as soon as I shut down her computer from my cell phone, which I don't remember where I put. Ah, oh, where did I leave my cell phone? No matter how hard I try, I always have an awkward expression in my ID photos. Engineering and advanced programming books. Some are in English and some are in Spanish. Oh, I'm such a mess. Someday I'll have to get this huge mountain of paper in order. Arpad Kovac signed this postcard for me when I met him at TechCon in 1999. I have to admit that changing the billboards was a bit theatrical, but that's the way I am, I guess. Here you are. Now I only have to access Kendra's computer and unleash hell. I wrote down her IP here. Oh, how stupid can I be? Only I could think of writing something that important on my hand. Clutziest activist ever. Sorry for interrupting another hard day of procrastination, Kendra. Just a couple seconds to begin the cursing and screaming in three, two, one, one again. What the? And no. here it is. No, 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 Total no, no. system shutdown. I've lost my whole day now, Kendra, you better follow the protocol like a responsible supervisor and call Jean. Yeah, of course it's Kendra. Yelling? 
You better move your sorry ass to get up here, or you will find out what yelling is. And here it comes, directly from the server room. Gene Wynn, the admin guy. Hey, Gene. Poor Gene, I really owe you one, man. Okay, the server room will be empty as long as Gene is pulling all of Kendra's okay. aggro. What took you so long? And by the looks of it, it's gonna be a while. So next phase, get inside the server room. Can't be you caught on the surveillance cameras. The hallway to the server room is tracked by three surveillance cameras. I need to get close to the cameras and upload the loop footage from my cell phone. But I have to be sure the right video is uploaded to the right camera. I'm pretty sure that the board of directors would have gladly erased Kovacs from this picture if they could. Ah, here it is. I'm sorry, Michael. As long as Kendra's in the company, you'll always be the runner-up in the corporate lackey contest. All the videos are uploaded and playing the loops. I can enter the server room now. I forgot that Gene still uses the old four-digit security system, and I don't know his passcode. <laughs> Look at this. I can't believe it. You're an absolute disaster when it comes to security measures, Gene. But thank God for that. Ta-da! Door open. Ta-da! Door open. Ta-da! Door open. There's nothing of interest in Jean's computer. The servers are in that room in the back. Now, I only have to access the servers and grant myself admin permissions. Got it. Now back to my office to keep helping Trevor. Shit, I almost forgot to restore the surveillance cameras before returning to Trevor. Yes, all cameras are back to- Hey! Oh, uh, Kendra. You think this is normal? Uh, uh, I, 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 I can explain. Seriously, I have tons of work to worry about, and they expect me to meet my deadlines with constant screw-ups? This is not normal! Oh. Oh, you mean that? Uh, no, no, of course not. That is totally unacceptable. This is the second time I've had the same sudden crash. Remember it also happened a few days ago? 
boom. And all my work goes down the drain in an instant. Yes. Yes, I remember. Yeah, sure. Uh, definitely Jean has something to do about that issue, of course. Anyway, looks like it's going to take a while. Fancy a latte macchiato at the cafeteria? Uh, sorry, Kendra. I still have some things to finish, and given what happened to you, I don't want to risk losing all my work too, you know? Hi, Vio. I thought she had caught me. Damn, I have a severe case of Blitz Cola addiction. This little plant managed to survive, despite my black thumb. The weather forecast predicts a blizzard for the next three days. Yay! Okay, Trevor, I'm back. Oh, thank God. But wait, your voice is... Oh, I forgot to turn the voice modulator on. Ah, damn it. Oh, it's fine. I'd rather listen to a human voice than whatever that was before. <sighs> yeah, what difference does it make now? Anyway, let me open that big door. Cameras are ready. Great, I can switch between them. Wow, that computer room is really dark. That's not a computer room, Trevor. Go inside, please. Uh, okay. You'll find an earpiece on that table ahead of you. Put it on so we can speak directly. I have the earpiece. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. And you? I can hear you too, yes. What is this place? Where am I? And why does it look like the backstage of a TV studio? Because it is, Trevor. This is Arcadia's backstage. What? No, 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 no. This, this, is, this is the Ada room, the most powerful computer ever built. Ada means Artifact Disposal Area. This is where the containers from all INAC employees are dumped to be processed and destroyed. But that... that doesn't make any sense. INAC would lose millions if they just... INAC can't lose shit because INAC is not a real company. It's just another one of... Arcadia's intricate lies. But you've had enough lies already, Trevor. Let me show you the truth for once. Please, Trevor, have a seat. Now in its 55th season, American Arcadia. A 43 square mile metropolis where each and every citizen enjoys a life of luxury and comfort. Broadcast live 24 hours a day, seven days a week on every digital platform. The most watched media phenomenon on the planet. Arcadia, where a complex system of thousands of cameras registers the everyday lives of their 23,414 Arcadia-born citizens. Experience love, drama, and scandal from all of your favorite Arcadia celebrities. Steve Just, DJ Zoom, Tiffany Amber Gaines, and many more. Vote, comment, and be a part of American Arcadia. Live from the Arcadia Dome, I'm your host, Vivian Walton. What? What is this? This, Trevor, is your life. A life that has been recorded and compiled right down to the last second. What? Why on earth would anybody be interested in my life? That's exactly the problem, Trevor. Nobody is interested in your life. I'm pretty sure you know who Steve Just is. Well, yeah, everybody knows Aerobic Steve. He's... The most popular person in Arcadia? Of course he is. Well, this is Steve Just's track camera view rate. That's the number of people outside Arcadia who watch his life 24-7. And this is your track camera view rate. Actually, you only have one person following your track camera, and that's me. You're not an absolute jerk, an egomaniac, or obnoxious. You're just an average Joe with an ordinary life. Too ordinary. Too ordinary? Too ordinary for what? To be profitable, Trevor. You're not good American Arcadia material. In here, a popular person means sponsorships, media coverage, ads, merchandise. 
In short, money. And as the audience ratings of American Arcadia are in negative growth, the show can't afford to maintain people like you anymore. Unprofitable citizens need to be... be retired from the show. Re retired You... you mean... Yes, I mean exactly what you're thinking. But... they can't do that, right? They can't kill me, can they? Not legally. But again... Who's gonna miss you if you never ever show up again? Nobody's interested in your life, remember? Oh my god... This... this is a nightmare. This can't be true. Trevor, I know this is tough to swallow, but we have to keep going, okay? Oh. Okay. 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 